What is going on, YouTube? This is Arctic Fox. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we have a very disturbing case out of Andover, Massachusetts, where a man was found dead with his 12-year-old son and wife in their Andover home after an apparent murder-suicide. This happened early yesterday morning. And it appears to be a case, tragically, of domestic violence, guys. The police responded at 3.20 a.m. to 48 Porter Road after a 911 call was made, according to the Essex County District Attorney's Office. Officers who arrived at the scene five minutes after the call was made had to breach two different doors just to get inside the house. Once inside... Andrew Robinson, 56, his wife Linda Robinson, 55, and the couple's 12-year-old son, Sebastian Robinson, were found shot to death inside the home. The incident does appear to be a tragic case of domestic violence and a murder-suicide, the DA's office said in a statement. Andrew Robinson apparently died of a self-inflicted gunshot wound. And the Essex County District Attorney, Paul Tucker, said that there is no danger to the public. Officials aren't looking for any suspects or anything like that. But it is a good time to remind everyone that if they're suffering from mental illnesses or any type of depression, there are services out there. The 12-year-old Sebastian was a 6th grader at St. John's Prep. He played the cello and performed in several concerts at the All Boys Catholic School. He was a wonderful young man. He was a kind and gentle presence, and he was well-loved by his teachers. He was very creative. Um, he was a very gentle soul by all accounts. And so that just makes this all the more tragic a loss. The classes have been canceled at Sebastian School, and grief counselors are being provided to the school community. A vigil will be held at the school at 5 p.m. St. Augustine parish in Andover will also hold a prayer service at 6 p.m. according to its website. Andover is usually a pretty safe community and there are people that have lived there for 40 years saying that you know stuff like this does happen everywhere and, and I can attest to that. I mean I live in a fairly small town. It's fairly safe but we we still have our share of murders and tragedies like this. This is the latest tragedy in Massachusetts, and it not only impacts the victims, but their family and friends, and of course the first responders that arrived at the scene as well. And of course we've just seen a very tragic case out of Massachusetts recently in the case of Anna Walsh, who was brutally murdered by her husband. So we only need to look back at the last couple weeks there in Massachusetts and we'll see a lot of things that are very difficult for first responders. And my prayers go out to the first responders in that community most definitely. They do a, an extraordinary job under some of the most difficult circumstances. This particular incident is under investigation by the Essex County District Attorney's Office and as well as some other uh, divisions of the Massachusetts State Police and the Andover Police Department. Um, I do want to point out that if you or someone you know is struggling with suicidal thoughts or mental health matters, you can visit the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at not just simply by dialing 988 to connect with a trained counselor, or you can visit their website. Guys, we, we've got to face the mental health crisis that this country is in. I, I'm tired of having to cover stories like this. I, I really am. Um, and my heart goes out to all the friends of this family. Um, it's just a needless loss, guys. And, and the students at that school where Sebastian went to school, I know that they're going to need a lot of counseling. Um as well as the, the first responders that arrived at the scene. So keep Sebastian's friends in your prayers right now, and his extended family. Keep the first responders in your prayers. Um, you know, if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, consider doing that. It does help the channel out, and it helps me to bring these videos to you. 
But the most important thing that I'm going to ask you to do is to keep those prayers out there for Sebastian's friends in this community right now. Uh, share the video out so people will see the story and everything. And I will certainly be back real soon in the next video. Y'all be kind to one another, and I'll see you soon.